Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people. Welcome. Hi. What is that? Help us improve our product thing above my camera. What? Are you guys seeing that too? Or is that just on my preview? No, that's there. Help us improve our product. How do I get that to go away? Uh, that's new. Um, uh, give me a second. That it wasn't there just a minute ago. Just a second. Uh, Cam Link 4K. I want to be able to interact with that. How do I? There's a way I can interact with it, and I don't know what it is. And see, I can't like click up there. Uh huh. How do I? What if I go here? Is it on this screen? It's on this screen too. Where is that coming from? Well, let's figure it out. Um, is it? Okay, so it's in that part of the overlay. It's not in the Camlink software. Okay. So it is in this. Yeah, it's there. So I need to be able to interact with this and click OK. And I'm going to then say fuck right off. There we go. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Anyways. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that was so bizarre. I'm surprised that this in the background just kept running. Help us improve our product. Tell us, do you like stream elements? Well, I use it, don't I? Anyways, welcome to Broston County. There's secrets right down here. Oh, God, you can see them. There's secrets right down there. Ah, you'll see him eventually anyway. Uh, it's stuff from like two weeks away. Um, this is after I recorded... What went live today? 13th, 14th, 15th. So yeah, definitely two weeks away. And we're still... Hmm... We're still having quite a few of these not enough goods situations while everything is running so choppy i may just is it play it that'll do it speed i may just bump the game speed down some anyway see if maybe that makes it run a little smoother i don't know so we'll do that um it's been a hot minute it has been a hot minute You're glad may is over Cat broke up with. That's why six your grandma passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. It's always rough. You know, you're you're glad that, you know, they're not suffering any longer. And that's always like a relief. But at the same time, you're you're sad they're gone. Um you know, so that's that's definitely a rough one. So at least this is working right now. Man, why? Why are we so laggy, game? Why? Why are we so laggy? Uh, nine, nine, nine. nine. It's, uh, let's bump things down to medium while we're detailing. Ooh, okay. It's thinking about that. There we go. And medium. Oh, thinking about that one too. Man, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, maybe it can't. Yes, no, maybe. I think it crashed. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's happy now. Uh, medium. And then let's turn V-Sync on. Just for gets and shiggles. Yeah, boy, that did a whole lot, didn't it? That frame rate just rocketed right through the roof. Yeah, no, it's going to be terrible, but that's all right. We're just going to be detailing. So it's fine. It's so strange that, like, when I record, it doesn't do this. The fuck? Why is it flooding? 
This is never flooded. What is happening? Look at the lag happening. This is... This is bad, friends. I may need to go get FPS booster back. I had gotten rid of it. Let's uh let's let's go read. Why did I get rid of FPS booster? Um there was a reason and I don't remember what it was. Yeah, this. Um Yeah, I don't know why I got rid of it. Maybe uh maybe we'll get rid of it. Okay, so we gotta come out of the game. Change anything. So we'll just do that. Exit the game. We will wait for it to say it's playable. We'll eventually get to uh detailing. Okay, there we go. And then we'll jump back to there. We will resubscribe to that. We will let it download. It's done, and we will play. And we'll see if this does any better. I don't remember why I disabled it. I think there was a conflict like the first day or two with something else, and it was just causing all kinds of problems. And so I killed it. But now we don't need to kill it. I think now we're fine. I'm also going to switch from... Uh, turn off display capture, go just... Whoa, white screen, that was bright. Just, uh, just a game capture. So anyways, how is everyone doing, aside from having a really, really shitty uh, June? How, how's, uh, or not June, but May, how's everybody doing? I have all the, the pride lights going in the background, rotating through, like, this is pink, and that's blue, and there's just some yellow up there, and there's all kinds of pride colors over there, and it's just, a rainbow has exploded with pride in my room. It is... It's it's a sight to behold, and the, the, the behind me the twinkly lights do all the different flags. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that, but it does all of the different pride flags like in a wave across the thing. It's currently doing just the basic LGBT one, uh, but it does bisexual, uh, pansexual, asexual, transsexual, and something else. I I don't know. There's a bunch of different pride flags that that slowly cycle through in the background. That took me all day, one day, to set up. Not even kidding. Because even though to you guys it looks like the lights are very linear going across, they're actually, they're really long. Like, they're way longer. Because they're like icicle style lights, where it's a, a strand across, but then strands running down. And the, the strands running down are way longer than this cabinet, so they're actually looped. So it goes across and across and across and across back and forth. And uh, so the app thinks that they're all just in a straight line. So I had to like go in and manually do each light, and it was a pain. But once I got one of them done, then it got a little quicker because I could just copy it and then change the colors. But the end result, I'm really pleased with. Yes, yeah, so there's just going to be all June. It's just going to be pride colors everywhere. Hopefully I get to actually stream more this month. I have missed streaming. Yep, yep. Things are new. Thanks. Uh, I wish there was a way to make that go away. All right. So frame rate any better? A little. I don't even think I enabled FPS booster. That was the problem. <laughs> I, didn't. I didn't. Well, then how is it actually running better if I didn't? When did that storm at work before going home? I am doing well, Donkey. I hope you're doing well, too, my friend. Nikki, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate that. We're going to launch the game for the third time tonight in the past 31 minutes because I didn't enable the mod because I'm a dumb. What are you going to do? 
So I'm starting with Broston County so that I can get it done and get it back over to uh, Destin sooner rather than later because he was planning on detailing some. He's had to save like all week because I, I recorded last weekend like three Broston counties and like five Pine Pass episodes. They're all edited. They're all uploaded. It's magic. And just when I thought I was going to get a break and could get back to working at Ashton Academy full time, then today GTA announced that, you know, we're doing a thing. Where, why is FPS Booster not here? Is it not something I have to enable? I'm confused right now. Oh, no, I don't want Discord. I want Steam. I know you guys can't see Steam. I'm very sorry. No, it says I'm not subscribed to it. What? Oh, I am. Subscribe. There you go. Okay. So increases, but may results may vary. There are any factors. Blah, 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 blah. This camera, you need a good and efficient GPU cooling because this mod may force your GPU to run at full speeds, whatever. FPS limiter included. Many FPS boosters now. Each frame game updates. Okay, just tell me how I access the menu for this thing. Nowhere does it say. Like, nowhere does it say. I think you have to enable it in Content Manager, but that's it. I don't think it has anything in the options. Oh, so I just have to go here and enable it. Ah, oh, I'm used to being able to go to the other one and enable it in there. Plus, booster. There we go. I would like to boost my... Oops, thank you. Um, yeah, this is... GPU cooldown. V-Sync is enabled. Cooldown limits will be ignored. Turn off V-Sync. Okay. Off. There we go. Now it's in the thing. Uh, show FPS boosted. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, custom font manager. More FPS. Disable in case of font. Whatever. No, I'm, we're good. I just, I just wanted to get some of the boosting. I know all of the boosting. I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm not gonna take all the boosting. Yeah, it's high level. What's up? Just set it and forget it. Yep, looks like that's what I've done as well. Oh, dude, it's been hot and dry here too. I think we're supposed to get some rain this weekend, but then it'll just be hot and humid because uh, it's south fucking Arkansas. Um, actually, it's supposed to thunderstorm right now. Yay, I chose... Wait, what? It... No, it's not storming outside, is it? It says we're currently having a massive thunderstorm. I don't believe that. I'm looking at my... Uh, no, it is clear and sunny. I'm looking at my nest cams. And yet... That is what... <laughs> Google says is happening right now. Whatever. Raisins! What's up? All the cool kids are here. And Donkey. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. That was mean. I apologize. <laughs> Hit me. Come on, just load. I just want to plop down a bajillion trees. Come on, game. Are, is it doing anything? Is it broke? Is it loading? It normally doesn't take this long. The elapsed time gave up. Oh, there it goes. I hear water noises. Yay! We're in. And... Boop. Cool. Done. So I'm not sure what's up with all the uh, not enough goods. I, I know we're importing. A, actually, we're not importing as much as we were. That's... Not bad, but for the longest time, these were all broken. Um, I think I 
gave a brief demonstration of it in the Broston County video that went live today. But trucks would pull in and then get stuck pulling into this garage and then get in this looping thing where they would just go in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. And then that was causing everything else to back up. Um, and because of that, I was not importing or exporting anything. Uh, it was impacting this. Uh, it was impacting this one. And it was impacting this one. They were all having that same problem. The only thing that worked right was this cargo harbor here. That's the only thing that was working right. Uh, so hopefully some of this nonsense clears up now that it's running. I gotta say, FPS booster actually work. Um, I don't think it was a bug with, I think it was a bug with traffic manager and building spawn points. I don't know. Um, I have no idea. Anyways, uh, this is the sneak preview of what's going to be live in two weeks. This is our new little uh, touristy area that's just getting started. It's very pretty. I like it. I spent a lot of time on it. Anyways, uh, we are going to go all the way over to here. We're going to make sure. Yeah, see, like, so the reason we're detailing again, uh, if you've missed any of the explanation, you'll see, like, a lot of detailing that we've done before. Some of it's kind of here. Like, there's a handful of bushes and a couple of the trees that I placed. But for the most part, it's all gone. Um... You can see that around the big high school campus over here and like Destin's neighborhood that's right next to it where you had all those trees. Most of that's all gone. And that came because Extended Manager's library and the um, Tree Anarchy and Prop Anarchy mods were not updated for this. There was a new, there was a replacement and I went through the whole, you know, Extended Manager's Library Remover process, but it still didn't preserve all of the detail. It preserved some. It was 92 here today. It's 74 currently in my room. We need to pull that back up. And of course, I was out running the errands in the hottest part of the day. So yeah, we're just going to kind of like start over here. Uh, get the trees back in. I think we're okay. Mickey, thank you for the gifted sub. Donkey, enjoy. Enjoy the emotes. Yeah, we're okay as far as, like, resources in the ground. Um, though that one's somehow producing more than that one. I don't understand that. Um, happy Pride. Yes, happy, happy Pride. Um, but I'd like it to at least look a little better here. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's okay as is. Like, I think that this side could definitely use more trees. Sub hype! Yeah, I keep forgetting sub hype. I have a button for it. I have no idea if it still works. It does! It's how long it's been since I've streamed. I don't know if any of my buttons work. Or it could be hub site, one of those. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, like, grab these, and, uh, it might be a little too dense. Let's go, let's go, like, there. Yeah, that's better. And let's just haphazardly click some trees down, just to make the foresty, foresty? The foresty area look foresty. The forestry area look, well, yeah, foresty. <laughs> I had it right to begin with. Pro straight bird work. Feels semi retired lately. So I think that already looks ooh, way better. Just getting some, uh, getting, getting some trees in this area. Let's spin them around, baby, right around. Beatspin.com. Don't, don't, don't go there. I, I assure you, trust me, don't go to that website. You will regret it. I promise you. It does feature that song, though. There. Better? Better. Cool. Let's go do some real detailing. 
like. We're just going to start in this corner and work our way across. See, some of this stuff is... Oh, that's part of the asset. That's part of the asset. So never mind. Some of the stuff here didn't stay. So there's trees there. I don't know that this area needs all that much more, to be honest. I mean, we could maybe fill in, like, this little corner here. Thirty versity. There, it is a 30 versity. Thank you. 30 months in a row. That's like two and a half years. Wow. I don't know anybody who's been able to put up with a nice Ooh, hi, Sky. Oh, and bird. Where'd the bird go? I don't know. Oh, we lost the bird. I don't know anybody who's been uh, able to put up with me for two and a half years. It's kind of impressive. So we can put we can put some little bushy bushes in, but we can't put them on that side. We can only put them on this side, and we can't put them there. So I don't know that there's really a point in doing that. Instead, I think we'll just throw in a couple extra trees here and there, just to kind of fill out the the grassy field. And we're hearing university noises because I extended. Uh, the campus area over here to try to help with the uh, attractiveness score. Since we have the um, museum, the great works, this works, whatever it's called, academic works, that is the word. Since we have that museum over here, I thought, why not have some university assets over here too? And it just kind of works out. But we're not going to be building anything new tonight, most likely. Uh, we'll probably just sit here and, and plop trees and bushes. Uh, if we see any problems, I'll fix them. Um, you know, much like vanilla ice, if you've got a problem, you know, I'll solve it. Uh, checking out something about a hook. I don't know. I never really understood that part. Yeah, see, just a few trees makes it all that much better. I wish I could get there. You used to be able to get in, like, the little pixel right between stuff uh, before the whatever came out that um, kind of took that away. So, see, yeah, like, look, you can see clearly I had done some detailing here. There's, there's bushes, just randomly bushes. So we're going to try anywhere that we can just to recreate what was here. I think that, you know, instead of reinventing the wheel, we're just gonna just go with what was here already and try to repair instead of remake. Oh, apparently I went down the side too. Okay, can do. We'll make it consistent on both sides. Why didn't you put a bush there? Like, seriously, that corner needed the bush. And then I think uh, we'll go with some lovely, uh, whatever this is called, horse chestnuts. Or, ooh, 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 even better. I like these little red trees. They're not very tall. But, man, that brings some good color into the area. What you think? I don't know that it works really well with that purple right there by it, but you know what? They're there now, and I can't ever take them out. So. We're just going to have to deal with it, and I'll be okay with it. So what was what was my spacing here? Probably like one there, and that was probably it. And then I probably had like one there. And it looks like we had some more of the red little friends down here. Well, and then there's like a little bush. What do you call a little bush? Wild hedge. There's a new hedge. Is there not? I thought there was a new hedge. I really thought that like... The most recent DLC brought like new hedges. Am I just imagining that? Like, a couple new small bushes. Yeah, these are all... 
That's all Steam Workshop stuff. I don't know, man. Anyways, uh, Wild Hedge. So we want to go back to the, the the poop line tool here and bring our spacing down. Figure out where that is right there. I did call it poop line tool. Cool. This morning when I got up, my mom was already up. And my cat was just like waiting outside my door to feed me, feed me, just going crazy. But of course, you know, mom's still recovering from her most recent surgery, so I didn't go to check on her first. I go in there and she's actually she's up and she's in good spirits and her she sounds her color's better and everything's good. I'm like, wow, you look like you're feeling pretty good today. She's like, I am. You know, I'm, I'm actually feeling better. I'm like, good. I'm like, cool. Do you need anything? She's like, no. I'm like, cool. I gotta go uh, take care of my cat. She needs food. And I started walking away. She's like, she what? And you know, I'm not a big fan of like yelling between rooms, but I was already on my way back out and I was didn't want to go back in there. And I'm like, she needs food. And she's like, she did what? Where? I'm like, whatever. I'm just gonna, just gonna go. <laughs> so I get back to my mom's room a little bit later on, just checking on her again. She's like, why did the cat poop outside the litter box? I'm like, what? She's like, that's what you shouted at me. That the cat pooped outside. I'm like, no, mom. I said the cat needs food. I said nothing about the cat pooping. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, we need some, some something here. Man, they changed this asset a lot. By the way, I had to rebuild them all. It broke. It was broken, broken. Um, pieces of it weren't lined up anymore. Like, this little restaurant here that sticks out to the side was, like, over here. And somewhat forward. Uh... The, the front of the building had, the whole building had like shifted backwards. And there was just this big gap of grass right here. It was so, so strange. Thing is, we need something here to justify that that's there. Um, I was really hoping to be able to use these the small airport aprons it's literally just decorative concrete but you can't have them you can't use them unless you have a cargo or an airport and an airport terminal like but what if i just want to use them nope you can't which is kind of crap but whatever uh i think i have ploppable concrete now i think i could be totally wrong that's not possible back here. You no, nope, no. Nope. I could have swore. Man, yeah, that's not. That's clearly not what I want. I just want to make like a driveway here. Okay, let's try surface painter then. Let's see if we can get away with. I uh, see it's gonna go at a stupid angle. I want it to look like there's a driveway here. This is a cargo area where trucks need to go. And the FedEx truck needs to go back there and go beep beep. I still think the asset's partly broken. Look, there's like just weird things. And like, just me or is that wall floating? I don't know. It looks like it's floating. But, okay, so how do we make this look like like a thing. Do we go build an airport somewhere just to unlock those? I guess I could find this herringbone brick. Because they exist somewhere. Yeah, right here. Um, oh, except it's not the same. Ah, there it is. Cool. So we will plop a few of these down. Like that. And then we will do second one. 
and then to save ourselves time, we'll go in here. Oh, never mind, those are inside the asset, and so I can't do that. Of course not. So what's the difference? That one's rounded. We're just going to make a nice little brick walkway here. And since they are inside the asset, I can't use move it to copy and pasta them. Sorry. It also means that when we get down here to this corner, I should be able to just put some inside the building and have it disappear nicely. Have it look alright? Yeah, this is going to look fine. That'll be alright. That'll work right there. Cool. And so let's get a couple of little trees in there. Why is the city losing high fifty? Three thousand dollars a week. Six thousand dollars a week. We're we still having massive problems. Not enough goods. No, we just have not enough resources. Up there has not enough goods. What's your deal? This farm. Shirley, get your farm in order. Come on. If you guys didn't see it, um, I, I've got new lore that I'm working on for for all of these. And I typed the description for the lady who owns the farm into uh, Adobe Firefly. It's just uh, creates images from text commands. And it made the person I had in my mind. It was unreal. Uncanny. Like, just blew me away. So here I think we just need, you know, some trees to act as just a, a screen. Obviously, if you're sitting out here or even up there, you don't want to just look at the highway. We should probably even have a sound wall right there. If if we want to do it right. I'm just going to use the uh Cottonwood, because it's nice and tall and has a, but the canopy doesn't spread out very well, even though it's a dense canopy. So that way we don't wind up with branches reaching out over the highway. We, we still get that nice, thick canopy. I like my canopies thick. I was going to say like my men, but that's not true. Definitely not true. Yep. We want a tree there? No, we don't want to. We'll do something different inside that little corner. Just something a little more decorative. Because that's actually visible from in there. So this is getting dangerously close here. And something may get zoned there, so. Leave that alone. Let's add sound walls. It's probably gonna kill the lane markings, but I'm okay with that. Actually, lane markings are okay with it too, apparently. Let's we'll bring that back to there. I don't know if the other side needs it, but I think that these shops would probably not for the sound, but just for the probably the safety factor. Because the sound wall adds not only the sound bit, but it also adds the concrete uh, retaining wall. Not retaining wall, but safety wall, whatever it's called. The wall cars go bonk off of. <laughs> cars go bonk. Good job, me. Uh, nah, let's leave that empty. Uh, but we'll do something a little nicer there. Um, maybe a teeny tiny little park now that we have teeny tiny little parks. I like the teeny tiny little parks, by the way. They come in handy. Yeah, look at this. It's a teeny tiny park. And there's options for your teeny park. You, you can have gazebo. You can have a really cool, like, community garden. It even says community garden. But I don't think that's what you would want here. You can have a little pond. Uh, and you can have just like a seating area. And I think, honestly, that's probably 
more in line with what you would see in this area. Honestly, I think we can get two of them in. Just do two of the exact same thing. Yep, I'm good with that. And then grab this oak tree right here. Just put a couple more oaks right by it. Put those oaks in the highway, though. Do There. New York Ultra Mod. Am I saying that right? One question? Okay. Where are the bums? You mean the uh, unhomed? It's me. I'm the bum. There she is. She's right there. Nikki's the bum. Um, you know, City Skylines doesn't have homeless people. That I'm aware of. I've never I've never seen them. Um I know that back in the day, uh the Sim City had homeless people and they were they were uh very prone to turning into zombie hordes. Uh, I don't know if anybody played that, but you just like you'd get a zombie apocalypse outbreak and the homeless were the some of the first ones to get caught up in it um and you could spot them because they real easy because they glowed bright green um the at home to have internet access you know granted you know it, some of them have phones There's a, uh, a guy that goes to my parents' church. You see him sitting out at an intersection on a fairly busy road um, that's like a block away from their church because he, uh, he sleeps in like a... a uh, yeah, no, we're going to just let that message continue to be blocked. Don't be racist. But, um, he sleeps out on the outside because he wants to. Um, like, he has money. He has what he needs to, you know, survive and everything. But he, he has some mental health issues and he just he doesn't like being indoors for very long but he chooses to sleep outside and be without a home yeah so be it no we're not gonna whether it's in context or not no racism so nope sorry ultramon not happening Be chill or be gone. That's pretty much your choices. So I can't redo this until the water. No, I mean, that word is a very racist word. Now I really like wondering, like, what did you say? Something racist. Just fill this in. What is that? Oh, I remember placing those. They're like these little planters that... That, uh... We put trees in. Yeah, I remember those. We will redo that thing. You Brits can be ruthless. Ooh, perhaps. So I need this. Uh, please, thank you. We'll just put like one there. 
one there and one there, and then see if we can't get a tree in there. I think we can. Um, where's J Bo's the chime? I don't know. Well, the fun thing about the internet is, you know, it doesn't respect borders and in my chat room, so no racism. You try to justify it all you want. But I, you're going to be wrong continuously because, like I said, you know, it's my chat. Uh, let's go with a little... Uh, I was going to do like a wall color right here. Ooh, is that going to let me get that in between those two? Oh, it's Raven. Why'd you change your name, Raven? And why are you being racist? You racist. Fuck. I don't... I don't know. Why'd you change your name? It's another Brandon. It's true. His name's Brandon. Go with a couple of the red trees. But no, there are no homeless people in this game. Uh, it's weird. It's, it's only city builder. You, you know, it never even dawned on me till tonight that there are no homeless people in this game. Like, if, if there are, I don't know where they are. Like, I don't know how you would find them. A forest right there? Yes. This is looking good. Is that water evaporated yet? No. It's getting there. Like, I can get this bit in, and we're just gonna... Yeah, I mean, like, I, I really... I, I don't know why there's not homeless people. Yeah, they just leave. Like, like if you delete a house, they just leave. I know in um, the not the last Sim City, not the really terrible, horrible one, but the last one that Maxis did that was good. Homelessness was a thing. Um, and it could be brought on multiple ways. Uh, you could fail to keep up with housing and people moved in and couldn't find housing that they could afford. That was part of it. Uh, or they could get gentrified and not be able to afford their existing housing as the land value went up and they would become homeless because they couldn't find uh, corresponding jobs. They didn't have the skill set to... Uh, To continue on it, it was it was kind of cool but it did you know it created crime and stuff people stereotypically associate with homeless people which for the most part isn't true i will never ever 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 forget just you know, there's moments in life where you learn gratitude. That, like, no matter how rough your situation may be, um, no matter what you're dealing with, that it could always be worse. And when I was leaving Missouri, which I didn't want to do, uh, but the situation at the time required it. Um, instead of just hauling everything that I had been hoarding for years in my house around with me, I, I decided to, to get rid of a lot of stuff. And I sold some stuff, some other stuff I donated. Um, and part of the stuff that I donated uh, was a lot of old clothes that, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty easy on my clothes, so, it, you know, they were in pretty good nick. And so I, uh, 
I, I reached out to a friend who, you know, worked with various shelters and, and things. And they're just like, yo, man, so like, you know, where, where is going to be the best place to take these? You know, where are they going to be sure that these are actually going to people who need them? Um, you know, that they're not going to just turn around and sell them. That, you know, this is actually going to be clothing that, that people need. I'm like, some of it's dress clothing, some of it's casual. You know, I've got winter, I've got all that. And he, so he gave me the, the name of a, uh, uh, a local shelter in in the town where I lived, and I, I took my stuff up there, dropping it all off, and then this one old guy came up to me. I I have no idea how old he was, but he's about my same height, about my same build, and he's just like, you know, could I ask real quick if if it's okay? He's like, you know, what size are all those pants you just brought in? Because like, you know, people saw that you know I was bringing just cartful after cartful of stuff in out of the car and I told him and tears just welled up in his eyes and then just started flowing and he just started sobbing he's like thank you so much thank you so much yeah I haven't had a brand new pair of pants that fit me in over 20 years and you know here I was stuff like i said it looked brand new i had just gotten too fat for it you know and i was just donating it and it didn't even it didn't even I'm like whatever it's just helping me and it's just you know no matter how bad my situation was at that moment i've never been able to make that statement that he made and it, it it's just humbling little moments like that in life that are good for you now and then and, and they make you grateful for what you do have. Yeah, that was kind of my reason. He asked me, he's like, can I hug you? I'm like, yes, you can. And he, he, he like, one of the biggest hugs I've ever had in my life. 20 years the man had had a pair of pants that fit. Just... I don't say any of that to be like, oh, you did such a good thing by donating. I, like I said, I, it was purely selfish that I was doing it. I didn't want to move it all. You know, and I, didn't, and I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of a garage sale and all that, you know, so I was like, I'll give it away. Never even dawned on me that it would, like, change somebody, you know, whatever. But it, it was cool. It, it was it was a good experience to, you know, be knocked down a peg and be grateful. Because I was, I was pretty much in a feeling sorry for myself kind of mode, you know, because of the situation at the time. And it's like, snapped me right out of that. So we need lots of trees down this side because this is just... I think what we'll do here to maybe tie into this area. I love this. Check this out. I used, for the first time ever, uh, the... What's it? What's it even called? Uh, what's this mod called? The intersection marking tool. I use the intersection marking tool to put these trees down. <laughs> so the trees perfectly follow the path all the way around. It was so easy. It was so freaking easy. Uh, any upgrades on the rig? I rebuilt it. What? This time last year, maybe March of last year. So it's now an i9 um, 12900K with a 3080 Ti and more M.2 SSDs than I can remember. I genuinely don't know how many are in there. It gets the job done, to say the least. Oh, yeah, we're going to go over here. So I'm thinking Junipers along this wall. Um, I don't have a genuine server. I've got my old, well, actually two generations ago. My mom has the computer I was using. Um, put it in a new case. Put a graphics card in it that I wasn't using anymore. And gave it to her. Because it was way better than what she had. Um... Hello, Juniper. I don't want small Juniper. I want the big Juniper. 
looked right at it. I looked right at it, didn't I? But um, I've got like two PCs ago that's that's over there with just a bunch of hard drives in it acting as a server. I guess I could just do like these large bushes here. I don't do this. That'll, that'll work. Let's not go to there though. Let's actually send this concrete out to here. Or let's do that um, brick again. It's not called brick, really? Seriously? What is it then? I'm not gonna be able to click it, am I? Can I sneak up on it? Oh, I had it. Come on, come on. I just need one of these tiles, please. I actually don't think I had it. I think I would. Oh, 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 aha, got it. And then I have my laptop that I never even turn on anymore. Um. I don't know the last time I used my laptop. It just sits there. That's sad. Oh, you actually have a full big boy desktop now? Good. Not time. Is that what you've been playing Need for Speed on? I've only played Need for Speed once, like two, three weeks ago. A lot of fun. But I was terrible. I DNF'd and everybody beat me. Like, even Donkey beat me. I didn't usually beat Donkey in a race. Just gonna run that back to there. Fill that in like that. And there. Ooh, full specs. Yes, Hobo has a 3070. So that's the mall done. That looks a lot better. Uh, there are hotels and some parks and a little restaurant over here now. Um, I just threw these down so that uh, Destin would uh, have something to start from. We've got it up to two stars. Um, so I'm going to go get rid of a couple of them because I don't like where I put them. So I need to see if I can't get them their nature score here. I thought that the landscaping that I just did would have done that. But obviously not. So what if I'm going to take a few of these back out and then put them back in. I know that was really loud and I apologize. Because I, I'm not sure if I had Lock Forestry on or off a minute ago. I did all this. And these plants should be giving us some of the nature score that we need in these buildings. So now if I look at this, yeah, there's, there's more green here now. So where this was zero, it's still zero. So yeah, that totally made a huge difference. Um... Let's uh, see what else we can do. Can I get a little cheesy right here? Yes. Sorry to suddenly yawn. It's been a long day. Did that help? No? You're not happy about a tree? I'm happy about a tree. They're happy little trees. Bob Ross would be very disappointed in your hotel. So maybe we get rid of the sidewalk cafe. And this little park that's back here. They still have their sightseeing. And instead we kill all this. And then get rid of one of them. And then move them all over one. No, just one. You only get to go one. What are you doing, Jimmy? Look, friend. Hey. 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 
Why are you moving over two at a time? Hey, like, what is your major malfunction? There we go. This is not already occupied. There. Cool. So now with forestry lock is off. So we'll actually be able to add forestry. So like if we look at it right now for resources, there's like very little here. Like if I come in here with the tree brush and now go boom, never mind that didn't do anything. Why isn't that doing anything? Hello, why are you not putting down trees? I don't know. It should be. Does the pine pass brush not have anything saved in it anymore? What's happening? There, if we do that. Like that. Then boom. See, there's more forestry here. And boom, look at that. But obviously, we don't want to just willy nilly throw down. Because we don't want that style. We want this to look nice. So. Let's do, I don't know what we really need the path, to be honest, but. So we're going to do, again, the junipers, uh, just to make a line behind there, because that's kind of not the prettiest. Well, no, let's not do junipers. Let's do something else. Let's do a generic pine tree back here. There are pine trees on this map, so. And that's a nice, thick canopy that we can just hide everything with. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works. And then maybe some of our little red trees right here. Just for a little splash of color. And then here we can make like a, a little just thing. A little garden thing. Uh, that's, that's the technical term for it, a little garden thing. The grassy area. So we will once again just bring some bushes. <laughs> yeah, you need a switch to go with that. Holy crap. Where'd you pick that thing up? I would love to have an actual real server. So do one big signature oak and then a couple of horsey chestnuts and boom look at that it is now full and that brought the rating of these way up so we can crank the amount we're charging for them and i'm gonna go delete a couple hotels real quick because i just don't I, I was just trying to find a place to put some and i don't like where i put them um, up here is dumb. This is just so stupid right off this residential area to have these rental cabins. I don't so much mind the cabins. I mind the parks that are directly across the street. But without those parks, yeah, see, the cabins are really unhappy. They've got nature for spades. But they have, uh, they have no, uh, sightseeing. And it's just, I don't know, maybe I could put, like, a big park in here? I mean, the cabins themselves are fine. They just kind of look like houses. So it's not bad that they're off here, off this neighborhood. It's just more that I didn't like what I did with the park. So maybe we just put a big old park in here. Not that big though. That'll that to work. Make something like that with some trees, and get that. Up. Yeah, those three are happy. Oh, that does it. Okay, never mind. They are now 100% happy. They're better off than they were with those little parks. 
I think the game just farted at me. I swear to God, it sounded like a fart. It did. So let's make our connection here. Oh, your distance is too short. I just realized. That sounds easy to fix. This neighborhood has no ability to walk anywhere. Because this is a highway. So there's no sidewalks at all. Uh, let's remedy that. Let's. This has a sidewalk here. So we're going to come out from this corner, go around this house, back here. I would just get rid of this residential, but. Or, I mean, not the residential, but the commercial, but. I don't want to. Then here, we're just going to follow the road. Just going to run right alongside the road. Actually, I could just take it right down to that commercial. Yeah. We can just do that right there, and then that will connect. Is that connected on that end? I think it is. But do I have like a no pedestrian thing here? So that end's definitely connected. Are you? You look pretty connected. The only I guess we just wait and see if like People start walking down here. Because they'll walk really far in this game. Like really freaking far. Let's just bump this over a bit. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, we've got our first walk here. Where are you going? You're going to work. Okay, so let's... Stephanie White lives there, right? Okay. She works... Oh, never mind. She is going to work. I said so the trip cinema is like... Cinema is going to be down there. I forgot there was a commercial over there. Never mind. I take it back. So she's going to walk to work. And, and go, you know, hang out and watch movies all day. Probably not the safest walk, you know, with a highway right next to her. But this is better than walking on the shoulder of the highway. I could put in a little fence there, I guess. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to let people uh, gamble with their own personal safety. They chose to live up here in the hills in the seclusion that has somehow become a small town. Uh, but, you know, away from the big city, they, they chose it. And they, they limit their choices of not having uh, no protective barrier whatsoever next to a highway. <laughs> oh, I've jugulated myself into it. I'm Jewish. I'm allowed to say it. Let's see. Can I fit this here without taking out the sidewalk, too? I think I can. Maybe if I go really short segments. But could. So Raven, what are you doing these days? Like you still you were last time you were working at like car shop. I don't know too many car shops that are out there giving away uh servers. Yeah, I'm just gonna redo this. It's still connected. But just to be sure, I'm gonna give this just a come on, a little bit of a bend. You can do it. I believe in you. And then we're gonna bring that over just a gauche. There, now they have a protective barrier, and I don't feel like such a, an ass anymore. 
granted, it's a very flimsy wooden fence, but I think the speed limit here is only 35. I'm not going to check because that'll be just one more thing I get distracted by and have to fix. So this area up here looks fairly decent. Like, it looks like most of the trees that I plopped in here are fine. Some areas could use maybe a few more in their backyard. You know what would really look good here would be fences to divide all these up. Like privacy fences. But this is Destin's neighborhood, and I try to leave his stuff alone as much as possible. And let him decide what goes in his neighborhoods. I am going to add just a few more trees up here because I know I had done it before. Like we had created some nice thick canopies to separate this area from the areas around it a little bit better than this. Just rotate it around every once in a while. And this whole area was pretty wooded. I remember that much. It's a nice thing about moving. You can just grab some random trees and start doing your thing. Yeah, I wanna I wanna get some thicker woods all through here. I think it would just make it feel a little bit more away than it actually is. You were doing, you were college doing your mechanics course, did some things like working in the cafe and a bread factory, been on the apprenticeship for a year and a half. Uh, nice. I could have sworn you were working in a car factory at one point. Not a car factory, but like a mechanic. I thought you that's what you were actually doing. I don't know why I thought that's what you were actually doing. Alright, we're just we're gonna forest this. I this just looks this looks so much better as a forest up here. Reminds me of the area I live. Maybe that's why I think it looks better. It makes me feel like I'm at home. Oh god, if I ever start referring to this place as actual home, please someone shoot me. Complete with the trees right up against the side of the highway so that when a deer jumps out, you have zero reaction time. We scare the absolute bejesus out of you. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So if you guys don't know, this this little cul-de-sac here is loosely inspired by the neighborhood where I live. Not this road, but like the, the big road that goes down here and then a little loop that comes through. There, there's no road out this way, but like this little loop is kind of inspired by the place where I live. And and there's a house kind of out here in this and they have all of this land right here that's on a hill just like this is. And the woods are right up against either side of the road that goes up the hill. And and this, where I live, is like a blind crest. It doesn't keep going up. It goes up and then way back down. Um, and the lady that lives in this house right here puts out food for the deer right around here. Which is uh, causing them to come from the woods on this side to come over here to get food. Just as you're coming over the top of the blind hill. Oh, look, there's 20 deer crossing the road right now to go get a snack. Yeah, that is what I deal with. Not even exaggerating. And never before have I been able to illustrate something so well with a video game. See what happens when you base things in, in real life on your own neighborhood. Or in your, your real life. On, yeah, you know what I was trying to say. You know, just keep plopping down some trees and get them a little thinner as we get on that way. Same this way. I don't want to ruin the views down the hill. So in reality, at the end of this road back here... It keeps going down and goes into a neighborhood. About here is the lake. Big lake. I don't live on top of a hill. 
I live just down the road from a massive lake. This is looking so much better. Just filling in some of this area. I mean, it's not, you know, super precise detailing. Ooh, come back. But it does look better. It feels more complete. Uh, speaking of areas that were once feeling complete and now don't, this. Remember we made this look so beautiful and now it's just nothing? And I kind of feel like plopping these down individually. You wanted to be mechanic? Ah. Gotcha. Alright, so your IT with the place that does modular buildings. I miss working in IT, sort of. I don't miss the uh the dealing with stupid people. And I shouldn't say stupid people, but the the Ludites. People who seem willfully ignorant about anything computers. Less IT literate, yes. I don't know, some, some of them seem to like go out of their way to refuse to understand. It's like, you know, you send them a, a, a document that you know, say, hey, I need you to do these steps. And then you call back because you haven't closed out the ticket. It's like, hey, you know, did you get your... Uh, did you get the, the issue resolved? No. What well, did you try? You know, what I sent you? No, that had a bunch of words that I just didn't know. I'm like, yeah, but it had pictures, too. Did you, did you look at the pictures? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what all that stuff is, so I just didn't do it. Could you come down? Just do it for me. Put a big old oak tree there. Uh, but that kind of blocks the view of... Wait, didn't we have like a statue here or something? Outlook is a disaster. Outlook is held together with the hopes and dreams of small children or something, I swear to God. I will I will never forget when I worked for, for HP. I, I may have I've probably told this story before, but dude calls. He knows what's wrong with his computer when he calls. Like, he just knows. And, uh, and it's a failed hard drive. And the reason he knows is because uh, it was one of the newer HPs that on boot, if it was detected a, a failed hard drive, they it would just be your hard drive's in. Call support. You know, it would. So he calls. He's like, yeah, my hard drive's bad. I need to get a new one. I'm like, okay, well, you know what makes you say that? You know, just not, you want to make sure that they've gotten the error message before you just go shipping out parts. And so he tells me, I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, that's a bad hard drive. He's like, so how do I fix this? I'm like, well, we're going to send you a replacement hard drive. Um, you'll have it. Okay, whoever is going wee woo wee woo, knock it off. I'm trying to tell a story here. There we go. Uh, Sorry, I had to yell at the Sims for a minute. And, uh, you know, I'm like, you know, you'll have it within 72 hours, and there'll be some instructions in there on how uh, to take out the old one and put in the new one. And if you're not comfortable doing that, I can send you a box, and you can ship us the computer back. Uh, whichever you're more comfortable with. He's like, okay, that's... Ooh, an Asian garden decoration. He's like, yeah, but no, how do I fix it right now? I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, what do I need to push on my computer to, to get it to, to turn on and start working again? I've got work to do. I'm like, well, no, your hard drive's dead. Like, 
your computer's not going to work till you have a new hard drive. He's like, no, 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 no. Come on. There, there's something you can tell me, some magic key combination that's just going to fix it. That's going to write, run a hard drive fixture tool on it. He's like, you're just wanting to get me off the phone. I'm like, no, sir. A hard drive, you have a physically defective hard drive. I'm like, it'd be like if your battery was dead in your car. He's like, well, fine. So I get a new battery then. And the hard drive will be fine. I'm like, okay. No. I'm like, no. Maybe not the best example. It's just the dude just would not accept that there was nothing I was going to be able to do for him. Other than sending. A new hard drive. He was just certain of it that I just didn't want to tell him the magic key combination because it would have taken too long. I even tried, you know, pointing out the problem with his logic. I'm like, you know, at this point, if there were such a thing, I could have just given it to you and we'd both be off this call by now. Yeah, see, that's my point. Go ahead and tell me. I'm like, yeah, but no, that, there isn't one. I would love to give you one if there was. It's like, oof. It's just... IT is great, but sometimes it's... It's frustrating. Yeah, normally they have to start. Yeah, that, that was the thing. You know, normally people are like, oh, you're going to send me a new one. Thank you. You know, and it's like, oh, I thought I was going to have to fight and argue. And I'm like, no, no, we'll get you your hard drive. Is this Kiltastix Park or is this mine? I, That's fine. I don't like it. But, oh, that's why it exists. It's bringing the land value up over here, but this is the only place I had to put the main park assets. It's just kind of, you know, it's kind of, I think it's like that because I didn't have a whole lot of space. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of space here. I don't like it. Not at all. How do we fix this ugliness? That's terrible. Why did I ever build such a crappy park? Stop too slow off yeah. Let's uh let's get this to go through here. Cause I think if we have like it the play spaces opposite each other, maybe that'll help some. Maybe even you don't have to have them right on path. You have them backed off a little bit. And as long as they're close, they'll be whoop. Wrong button. But there were a lot of different calls that I had with people that were convinced that that there was a just some thing that we could do. But can't you just remote it and fix it? Well, if your internet card's, you know, if your Wi-Fi card's not working and you don't have an ethernet cable, no. No, I cannot. <laughs> that That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No, come on, it'll work. Like, if you don't have a way to connect to the internet, no, I can't remote into your computer. Besides, it sounds like what you described as your Wi-Fi card is dead. Which means you need a new one. Nothing I can remote into fix. Oh, it needs one of those driver thingies. No. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Everybody thinks, you know, that there's some update or a software fix that'll solve their problem. Wait, no. Yeah, okay, but Minion's what? Nine? He has a reason to not understand that. Like, he's he's allowed to not know the differences. He's nine.
I think that looks better, just rearranging those buildings in there. It has all the same stuff it had, if not a little bit more now. Well, except for the square. We took the square thing out, but I can live with that. I think that looks a lot better. And then we'll just throw a few trees in. Here and there. Well, I mean, yeah, so I know one of the things that frustrated me as, you know, somebody who knew, you know, enough to be able to actually fix stuff. I did not say a thing to you, Google. Um, was like they had tech troubleshooting workflows that we could click through like if we didn't know the solution and they were garbage uh they were very terrible but uh they all very quickly ended in do a recovery you know nuke windows and reinstall it which man that's just not a good solution for people it's just not i mean most people don't have a backup they're not, you know, in any way ready for that. You know, so if there was like, if I knew that I could get something working properly by, you know, maybe going to the device manager, uninstalling a device, rebooting, letting it find the right driver and reinstall it and then update to the correct driver and all that. You know, yeah, that's going to be, that call is going to take three times as long as it does for me to say, yeah, restart your computer and hold F11 while you see the HP screen. Yeah, hit enter next, and now your computer, everything you had, all those pictures of your kids, everything's gone. Bye! It'll be better when that's done. You know, that's just a shit thing to do to somebody. When I could spend, instead of that five minutes, I could spend 15 actually fixing it. Because it took 15 minutes to walk somebody through getting to the device manager right clicking on something telling them to click the box that says do you see the box that says uninstall the driver software yeah click that well i don't want to do that do i no you do well, why do i want to do that and you got to get into the whys of it all and yeah you know, it just it takes a lot longer than just nuking it but and that was hp's preferred thing they're like that should be one of the first things you try like but it's not a solution it is a band-aid at best. The only time I was like ready to easily nuke a computer is if it sounded like they had a failed Windows update. And I would ask them. And they were always so unbelievably honest about it. You know, do you turn your computer off when it says don't turn off the computer and updates in progress? Oh yeah, all the time. I don't want to wait. Well, yeah, you you hosed the operating system. You have to reinstall. Well, but that's dumb. I don't want to wait on those updates. Like you do at night. Well, like don't shut your computer down when it says please do not shut your computer down. There's an update in progress. You will have problems like you're having right now. Oh, well, that's stupid. <laughs> Would be the you know the just typical response to it. It's like for those people. We nuked it. I'm like, if you can't follow a basic, please don't shut off your computer. It's doing a thing. I don't care that you're about to lose all your data. So call saying, yeah, can you do this for me? You guys sent to do it. Don't have a clue how to do it. And I'm just like, bro, oh, man. Just temporarily delete this thing. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. What I really miss is when I owned my business and we did small business support. Because all of our small business clients to enable my employees to be able to remote in and do stuff from anywhere, we installed just a whole suite. I, I forget what the suite is, but a, a suite of monitoring software on their computers. And we could see at any time like we could proactively just like 
see that they have an installed security patch. Boom, push it, you know, tell them that if, if it's going to require a restart, warn them first. If not, you know, just push it. Um, and just do a lot of preventative stuff. And just kind of know what was coming before it arrived. I don't think a county courthouse would have... Uh, those foreign looking trees would have very domestic oaks. That looks so much better. That looks so much better. So what else should we do in this neighborhood? Yeah, the cheese do do a little bit. It's always been one of my favorite thing about City Skylines is when you're placing a tree individually, they spin. I don't know why they spin, but they spin. And I've always loved it. There was a mod that like disabled it and it made me sad. They would just not spin anymore. It's really cute on like the smaller ones. He just like twirls around. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It's probably a bug in the game, honestly, but it looks really cool. Oh, kitty cat. No, wait, wait, no, pause. Oh, that's not a dog, never mind. I know the difference between a dog and a cat. Honest cat. Yeah, I don't know the difference between the dog and the cat. Now I want to see a cat. Um, so what else should we do up in this area? It's a pretty simple area. Like, it's meant to be, you know, just this area that's away from town. Like, these guys could maybe have a little bit of tree cover in their backyard. Well, then again, we could just also let them have nice big backyards. I should have kept separation of these. We have a pretty big backyard. That would be that'd be my house right there. And that's where I live in the, the grand scheme of this neighborhood. So the room I'm in right now would be this one. <laughs> right there. Right here on this back corner. That's that is where I am. This is where I'm live streaming from right now. If we look close enough, you might even be able to see me in there. Let's see. Can I get in there? I don't know if I can get down there or not. Okay. I can't get in there. Oh wait! Oh there I go! I'm off to work! Oh. Wow. Our house is really let itself go. Anyway, uh, one of them needs a tennis or other sports ball court. Yeah, but I can't snap anything. There's no way to put one in there. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that these new little parks that they added, like these super small ones, can't snap to a path. They can only snap to a, a street. They'd be perfect. Like There's little playgrounds, little parks tiny parks yeah i think that's good i'm gonna leave this area for destin to redo i he had a specific group of trees that he had placed in this neighborhood and i don't remember what they were i don't know if he remembers what they were I, i'm not but i want the stuff that destin has built to reflect his building style and his preferences and his choices so i'm not gonna I'm not going to interfere. Ooh, I have been putting this off this entire stream. Because this campus was so beautiful. And now it's just nothing. So we're going to desperate times, desperate measures this. And I am just going to remove all the landscaping that's not built into this thing and just start over just clean palette if i wind up replicating something that was there so be it if not so be it we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna make it work i do like i am i am still very proud of this campus i think it turned out really well 
Not sure that that's the right school. Excuse me. For the campus, as far as the actual building, but. Oh, yeah, look at putting all the trees on the hill. Look at that stun for up there. From down here, you really don't see much of that at all. So that's that's nice. So I know that we had some larger trees in here. Why is the city losing so much money? This is kind of starting to bother me a little bit. Um, we can't sit here and just let the let the city go broke, though. Okay, I guess we haven't really lost a lot. We've gone from sixty-two. 280 to 61.1. So we've lost like a million and a half. Okay. I, I, you see negative $50,000. You think, wow, it's going to be broke any second now. But it, I guess in reality, since you have $62 million, that's not all that big of a threat. But why aren't we making more money than this? I need to investigate. Okay, wait, what? Why are we importing again? Did that mod break? You should have no reason to be importing. This should all be able to produce. Oh, these are producing inconsistently. These should all be closer to 5,000. They should all be at 49, 44, and they're not. Fix that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna pause and delete a lot of things. Look at the trees that were underneath just pop back into place. I think that's all of them. Yeah. There's that. That should be all of them now. Yeah, that's all the producers. So we want to go through and just double check. Even though we did this earlier, just make sure this is all super, super dark green. Everywhere that those are going to go needs to just be green, 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 green with no pollution. So that is what we have. No pollution. Super green. We can maybe do a little more green there. Just a skosh. Add a bit. Touch. <laughs> a touch. Show me on the dolly where the bad man touched you. It's horrible. I'm a horrible human being sometimes. Kind of boop goodies in here. Oh, and then. Yeah, that's better. Except, no, it's not, because I didn't have forestry brush turned off. Good job, me. Copy that again. Put them in again. Or not forestry brush, but lock forestry. Because you want to lock forestry and not have it produce the green when you plop down trees, when you're building some of the other industries. Because the trees will kill that other industry, the resource. So, yeah, unlock and lock that. All right, so now we put all of those little tree fields back in, which there were many. Uh, how are they? How are they in here? This? Uh, maybe. I don't know. That's how they're going in. Works for me. And we'll just, uh, but I can't, like, get in that corner. Why would have I put the utilities there when I could just put them across the street? Go there. Not utilities, services. That's the word I'm looking for. Like, what are you? You're a police station. Like, seriously. Why did they put that there? 
This could go like back here somewhere. Back there. That's the place for you. So get these back in. And then they should fingers crossed I'll be producing 49.88. That's the goal. I'll occasionally alternate what street they're against just so the trucks don't all come out in the same spot. Here I think we can get away with nope, we can't get away with the other ones. Can we get away with that one? So we'll do a couple more small ones. And there was like a tree sapling field over here, yeah? Just a little baby one. So two little baby ones. Ah, uh, it's just one. So we'll bump that there. Cool. And now, because forestry was locked, placing those buildings should not have gotten rid of any forestry. And it did not. So if we now unpause and give these a minute. 49, 40, so 44, my bad. But these aren't. These are not. Why? What do you mean you don't have water? What? You had water before. How do you suddenly not have water? So what the hell is that noise? It's a lawnmower. Awesome. <laughs> like, what is that noise I hear? Do you guys hear that? So, why is that so much lower? And there's one that's just randomly lower. Oh, well, I think we've got more in than we had before, so we'll switch all of these over to conifers, which will go quicker if I pause, because these little menus will pop up quicker and not be as laggy. But I still will fail to click them properly. Notice how I got distracted from doing the high school project that I don't want to do. How did I even get distracted by this? I don't know. Oh, because we were losing so much money, I wanted to check the industries. That's what it was. That's how I found something to work on other than that high school project. I knew I had somehow rationalized it in my brain. Yay, they're all trees that look like all the other trees. And hopefully that means uh, old Sterling Davies here. See that? Look. Brought some lore over from Pine Pass. Sterling Davies has expanded into Broston County with a very big operation. Way bigger than the outfit he has in, uh, in Pine Pass. Like double the size? Probably easily double the size. So, yeah, stop importing, because that's costing us lots and lots of money when you do that. Bet they're importing, too. You know, it's bad. Only $341. That actually makes us money. And uh, the farm is uh, not importing at all anymore. Good, good. Excellent. So hopefully these dudes will finally get over their import problem and be in much better shape. And I don't know why industry is suddenly able to keep up, but I'm glad that they are. Because we were importing like 3,000 goods. Or maybe that was my pass. I don't know. All right, back to the high school. So I know that we had like some decorative stuff up front here. And just a couple little trees there, and then we had like grasslands or something to kind of separate these areas and just offer like a little screening to the neighborhood. It's so like these tennis courts and the basketball courts probably have lights at night. These would have big bright lights. The school itself would have big bright lights, the parking lot and everything. So we would definitely want to give some screening to that neighborhood. 
Uh, we would also want to bring out your dead. Ding. What's that one doing? That one's fine. One up the hill. It's fine. Maybe I'll see its little blinky icon. Um, okay, so. What do we want? We would need something fairly tallish. At least as tall as the tree that's already here. Just to get that, like I said, screening that we want. I remember now we had here. Not that many of them. We had like a couple of these. Just for like let's celebrate the diversity of, uh, of trees across the world at the high school type thing. I don't know. It's not like the idea. So we could do Eastern Cottonwoods again. They're very, very effective at creating the screen. Cause just look at them. I mean, it's just got that really thick canopy, but it's just straight up one spot. Then again, oaks are really good for that. Excuse me. I don't want to do what I did last time, which was just forest this little area and call it a day. I, uh, I wasn't happy with that. So I think what we'll do is just plant like kind of an uneven line of oaks. I don't want them to look perfectly manicured I don't I don't know I don't like it when trees are in a perfectly straight line I don't know why I just don't like it it's not natural so that'll get that done uh, and then we should probably do something similar over here by this parking lot and these would be like the the spots that everybody tries to, to get to the campus early for the day because they know their tree's not going to be sitting in the sun all day long. Whoa, okay. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. You know, then that back up. So that gets us good screening there. None here yet, though, and I guess we'll just stick with it. Even though I switched tree for a minute. I just don't want to block too much of our arch here because it's kind of a nice asset. So maybe we could do what a gear first chestnut on this side. I just realized that looks a lot like the chestnut tree, uh, chestnut tree in Timberborn. That was cool. So, um, it's that big bush that I saw earlier. I really liked it. With that let's do that creates a nice separation so I think we'll do those along the back here I don't like that this updated version of this spot doesn't like have a little dot where you're about to start putting stuff in last version of it had a little dot and it helped quite a bit so do like that there, and then we will come down the side uh, with, let's do 4.6. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. I like that whole use the item width for spacing. It's just some nice, some nice designs. Head over. Green that up here. I don't like that the, the green on the leaves don't match between the two bushes. Not exactly a fan of that. Just, I think a single tree in each little area is more than enough. But we still need to do something up here. You can't just like let it sit like that and be just blah. It needs something. Chain violation of pass. This is new.
This worries me quite a bit. Okay. So, am I able to make a manual save? Yeah. Oh, uh, guess just a hiccup in Windows temporarily. Did it get blocked by something? Windows security? I'm going to check real quick, see if it got blocked temporarily. Uh, security. Device security. Is that where it is? I think so. I thought that's where it was. Goodness. My stomach's making weird noises. Um, I'm able to block this app, but that was all. So we don't have anything getting blocked. That was all really old. I'm trying to find... Ah, there we go. No, it's not blocked anything. Oh, I'm just not going to worry about it because I was able to create my own save, so fine. If it keeps popping up, then maybe we'll do something about it. I wonder if we shouldn't have a fence, like, around the campus. Mm -mm. Because this campus is pulling double duty. It is a high school campus. But it's also intended to be a community park. So I do not want to do that. But I want something to fill in this area up here. Previously, we had like just wild grasses, I'm pretty sure. But they're really tall, so what if we did these instead? Just some low vegetation. Not high vegetation. I want low vegetation. Just dotted a few of these around here. Doesn't really do much, does it? Not really. If they have like some wildflowers growing in it or something, then maybe. I'm not feeling it. I am feeling to get rid of that. It's overlapping, though. I mean, I'll leave them there, but I think we can do better. So what if we did do the tall grass clusters? Like, how tall are the tall grass? Oh, wow. They're, like, taller than a person tall. So we couldn't bring them right up to this corner, because then you wouldn't be able to see when you were pulling out. Uh, but... We could maybe kind of like follow just a, an irregular shape through here, right up against the trees. That could work. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> wow. He had a whole lot of feeling of that. Thank you, Killtastic. 21 months in a row. Coming up on two years. Holy. That I was going to say something else. Should there be a sidewalk here? No, there's a sidewalk there. No, I did not mean to put grass on that road. No, Young Lindens. So that looks better. Maybe just for some mix of color, we throw in a couple of the wild hedges. Oh, they're almost the exact same color. So then maybe we do just like some rhododendrons every once in a while. That's right, they do, don't they? Ooh, what are you? Flower tree. Uh, that's the sky. Come back.
We'll just pretend that's not the same thing that I used over there. Just some of these bushes. Just vanilla trees. Is that really all vanilla trees there are? So I just don't want anything too tall down through here. That's the thing. Or do I? That adds a lot of nice color. Yeah. That works. And I don't think we really need to bring anything up to the curb. I, I think it's fine with just a little bit of green space. Yes, I think that's... What? Holy traffic, what? No, it's not really that bad. It's lane changers. It's always, always, always lane changers. No, it's bad enough for hiding part of the arch right there. I was just saying that about sight lights, but it's why I kind of rounded this and followed an irregular shape through there. I think that's fine right there, though it feels like maybe it could use just something more for texture. Uh, where's this? Yeah. some ivy covering this area on the ground. Just fill it up, make it really nice and flammable right here. I like it. I like the flammable high school. Here is fun. It's not like Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Fire. So we will once again do kind of an irregular shape in through here. Like that and fill it in. Almost sounds like somebody doing a, a drum roll. Like we're getting ready for an acrobat to jump off of something. I like it. I dig it. Oh, here comes Lawnmower again. My father, who doesn't understand what he values. I remember one time just having a, a little chat with them about the dog barking uh, making videos uh, recording voiceovers and it's like well just tell people you know we have a dog who barks a lot i'm like okay so let me ask you dad when you're busy watching all of your uh gun fan videos on youtube if somebody had a dog yapping in the background non-stop would you continue to watch the video? And like, no, I'd be really annoyed. I'm like, exactly. So, but you want me to tell my viewers that it's okay that they just need to deal with it because we just have a barky dog. It's like, well, it's a gaming channel. They won't care. I'm like, yeah, it's, he's an asshole. That's all there is to it. Just tell them we have a dog that barks. It's okay. Like people don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear a yappy dog in the middle of the video. So you mentioned that in a text over in the video today about the yappy. <laughs> was it my dog? I can't remember. Was it my dog or was it the neighbor's dog barking? I don't remember. I know that it came up recently in a video. It's not my dog, it's my parents, so it's sitting in the house, okay, so yeah. Yeah, I didn't, when I have the headset on, I can't hear. Uh, 
So I don't know, because I try not to record when she's having a barking fit, because it's just annoying. It just really is. It's just ugh, gross. All right, I've forgotten. Where was that bush I was using here? Yeah. Just get a little more color in there. This is really lush right here, and I like it. I think that will create ample, ample white screening. I don't think a single shred of light from anywhere over that campus is reaching this area. This is not going to happen. So what have we done tonight? We've done the mall. Got it all redone. I'm not sure what to do here. I kind of like that it's just... I had done something different. What, why are you there? Oh, yeah, you lived over there, but you don't fit anymore. So we're just going to hear you. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I may just dot a few trees around the outside of this and call it a day. I do like that. I just took inspiration from the name of it. It's a juniper court. So I'm like, fine. We'll outline it with junipers. And we'll put junipers all down the middle of the streets. It works. Uh, anyways, back to the campus. I keep trying to uh, get out of it, but I need to get it done. So... Parking lots, we want to hide. We don't want to see parking lots. Parking lots are gross. Totally, totally gross. So, they're going to get the big boys. They're going to get a line of oaks. Right behind them. Oh, this just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Each one to put down. Justin, had you opened the save at all that I sent you? Because this is that save. Don't worry, we're going to do more than there than that. There's something very, very cool over there. Oh, so you saw this. Oh, no, it's abandoned. I think that can go away and a hotel can go there. These keep going abandoned because there's just not enough shoppers over here. That'll get resolved eventually. But right now, there's just... Like, there's, well, wow, there's actually people finally coming in on that? Or are they leaving? Because I don't... There's a cruise ship leaving with one passenger on it. I don't... I think more than anything they're using the subway. Well, no, there is no subway right here. The subway's over here. Oh, yeah, the subway's over here. Somewhere. Yeah, a little single tile building. Yeah, it's not the subway. So... Is it just the buses? There is a bus line going this way. Yeah, I I have to agree. They, yeah, it's, it's not the buses either. What? How are 210 people coming over here if they just work? They fill that in perfectly. They just tie in so well. Just done. And they've got taxis. Like, they've got a ton of taxis waiting. It's pretty cool. I like it. So, how has 210 people gone through here? If there are still no cruise ships coming in. The only thing I ever see is cruise ships leaving. I've yet to see one arrive. I don't know if this is bugged or what. It is a bus terminal, but if you look at this bus line... Four tourists last week. So it's not the bus. Well, now it just says one passenger last week. Maybe it did have a, a ship come in at one point. City attractiveness isn't all that great. Did I ever... I meant to connect the ship lines. Did I ever do it? I did. I wanted to be sure that was because this ended here. 
and they could get there, but none of them could get back there. I wanted to make sure they could all get back there, but I also wanted to make sure cruise ships coming in here could reach over there. Well, I mean, we've got a big draw right there and right there, plus the pedestrian. I mean, this all draws. Like, look at this from an attractiveness perspective. Okay, I guess not. I thought that was really attractive. I really thought we had, like, a lot here. I guess not. There's a little bit. It's, like, kind of there and there, but not by much. I really thought it was more. It's going to look really cool in this area. It's, like, like, bustling with people, though. Even right now, with just a few people, it looks really awesome. But when this place is jam-packed full of people, it's going to look phenomenal. When editing this video today, I realized I... Did not create consistent block sizes. Like that one's smaller than all these, and that one's smaller than the ones in the middle. Well, but I figure that can go, like that can be torn down, and the hotel can go there and like knock out those two side roads. Uh, knock out even that back road if necessary. Surprise, you've actually built Pippenburg, Germany. Have I? Yes. What? I don't get it. Oh, wait. <gasps> There's 210 people on that boat. Oh, wow. It's moving very slow. That's the first one I've seen coming in. So I'm glad that I routed it or connected that one. Otherwise, that may have not ever shown up. So let's see what form of transit or if they just walk or if they take taxis. I'm just curious where are all of these little peoples are going to go. We'll look at this view because it'll make them easier to see. So we've got 10 taxis waiting. So they're all going onto that side. This can handle two ships at once. It should start pouring out of there. this to stay where there they are they are just walking some of them came to the little tourist park and that's good because that's what it's for much more coming down this way so they can't come through that i would have thought they would have been able to get onto there and come in that way I mean, that's the back side of it, so maybe they can't enter from the back side. I thought they were able to walk all the way around that. So far, the bulk of them are not taking any transit. They're just staying here. I mean, we've had a bunch of people split off, but that's still our biggest group. So we're all coming down here to this. No, they're not stopping there. Continuing to move. No, a lot of them did stop. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, okay. A lot of them stopped. Awesome. Cool. Anyways, uh, back to the campus. I will get this done. It's just so daunting. Uh, let's come in with some young Lindens. I remember I had done this. I went around just the outside of the path, and I really liked the effect that it gave. It definitely give, gives a feeling of separation without just completely lining both sides of the path. And I dig it. However, it takes a while. I need to get in the habit of doing more detailing while I'm creating an area. I need to... I don't know how to break that bad habit of not doing that. I just always forget about it. I've been doing better. There's an episode of Pine Pass coming up that I actually build only a tiny little area. Uh, in the whole video, it's just one small area. But it's... it. 
it's really well detailed by the end. So I'm going to get to Pine Pass today, but if we don't get to it today, we'll do it tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon after the community stream. There, that looks that looks pretty fantastic. Now on this one, we'll go on both sides. And here we're going to do the divide it in half method. Just to get somewhat even spacing instead of trying to eyeball where they need to go. That works. And I think back here we could have some pretty dense canopies. I I think it's fine. But there's also maybe some merit of having some open areas. It's all good, man. I mean, if you can't, you can't. I understand about it being hot, right? You know, I've been lucky that my air conditioner's been keeping up, but normally even with the air on, it's it's like 80 in here. Thankfully, it's only 73. 70, yeah, 73. Again, going to leave it in kind of a, a curved pattern. But what I'm going to do here is leave this part open. And then this part's going to be dense, but not super forested. Like, I think that's enough. Maybe down to this end we do a nice signature tree. Just something for some color. Maybe a couple of them, actually. There, there, there. We can kind of do the same thing on these corners. I like that. Your heat is breaking. Oh, the, oh I thought you meant... Never mind. It's been the high 80s all week. Oof. I, I feel you, man. I, I know the pain of having an air conditioner that does not want to condition the air. It's, it's exhausting to be in that type of heat nonstop, too. It just is. Here, we're going to do, like, a little area for... Students like come out here and eat. Now I'm thinking if I turn anarchy on, I can get a path from right between these trees. And I think that looks pretty good. Because it makes sense that we would have a connection over here. And I'm gonna put down a couple of smaller trees. That's not where trees live. Uh, in fact, we're going to go with these eastern cottonwoods. We're going to put one there, one there. going to come into probably, is it the zoo? No, not the zoo. Who has the table I'm looking for? Not you. Well, oh, that's not it. Where are they? Just into this. I love all these extra buildings. There's just like a whole railway office in here. On Tuesday, it's supposed to have 70s right away. It's supposed to stay as hot as balls here. Oh, I forgot about these littles. Oh, I forgot. Oh, they have to go roadside? No. I wanted to go to there. That would be perfect to put like my little, uh, Picnic tables on there. Oh, that's sad. That has to be roadside. There's a lot of stuff in the railroads in Japan pack that aren't railroads. Which is kind of cool. Maybe it's just City Park that has the one I want. Yeah, that's the one. So we're just going to, like, give the high school students. A place they can grab their lunch and 
We'll go outside and enjoy some nature. Yeah. We'll even uh, throw in a few uh, refuse collectors. We'll encourage some recycling. I dig it. I think it's the little details like that that uh, can set a place apart. So I'm kind of cool with this just being open a little bit. I mean, because that allows, as you're walking by, you can kind of see the, the game taking place. Yeah, it's the humidity here that kills. I, I think that that's enough around that. Like, if we fill in back here and back here. Whoa, what happened to this path? You are looking worse for wear. What? Oh. Hello? How did that even happen? There you go. Wow. That, that, was, that was in rough shape there, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I, I think this is maybe just a... a one big tree right there. We get a signature tree. And in this case, it's going to be an oak. It's boom, on the corner. And I think that's fine. I don't think the rest of this needs anything. Over there. Now, here in this parking lot, yes. This needs a big canopy once again. And once again, it's going to be oaks. Because we want to hide parking lots. Parking lots are not pretty. That works. So, Destin, on the areas you built, I'm, I don't remember what you had. I mean, I can kind of get a feel for it, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know. I want it to have your, your touch to them. So, like, here, I haven't done anything. Um, I did add a lot of trees around. Now, the trees I added over here, totally still here, which is, they, they stayed. But in this area, I don't know. I don't remember what you had. And I remember you like did this like two or three times to get it right. So I'm kind of leaving the ones that you've built alone for the most part. Um, here, I think it's just a matter of like throwing some trees in. Oh, God. All of this park detailing is gone, too. Oh, no, I want to cry. I don't even remember what I did down here. I honestly do not like this park. I never have really liked it. But what else am I going to put there? I can't. I don't want to zone right up against the road. I think we have too much zoning right up against the road as it is. Back to the campus, Brendan. You're not done. So here again, I think if we just fill in this corner with something nice. I said something nice, not expensive. Isn't that how it goes? This is seven dollars. So nice. Let's go back to the width of the thing. So GTA quote for those of you wondering what the world I'm talking about. And Trevor meets Franklin's aunt. So let's just continue this all the way to the edge there. All the way to the edge there. And then back here, I don't know, just maybe a couple of these again. That looks fantastic. And again, I, I'm just going to leave this open. It is the same stuff. I mean, they're just kind of rehashing old stuff over and over again to keep that shark card money flowing while they finish GTA 6. I mean, I know that sounds like a cynical take, and I guess maybe in a way it is, but it's true. And in the past couple of DLCs, of, I think the last real big content-wise update was the, uh, the contract with Dre, you know, because they added their, a new interior, uh, a lot of new places to go for missions and stuff like that. And everything's just been pretty much reheated leftovers from that and previous DLCs. 
Which, you know, it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. They, well, at least they're trying. You know, I... For me, I'm, you know, anymore, all I really care about is the new cars and to play with, you know, which... I guess it's kind of ridiculous since, you know, if I don't have gameplay that keeps me coming back into the game, why bother buying the cars? But I still do get enjoyment out of buying the cars and customizing them and and doing some stuff with it. So what do we want to do? So that's like the campus done. Yeah, yeah, that's the campus proper done. But then we've got this area back here. Oh, no. Oh no, all my little squares are gone. Now I'm my food trucks. Where are my food trucks? Give me my food trucks back, man. There's one there. This was such a cool area. Now I just, just ate it. Odds. So, if I remember right, I can't go that any farther back right there. These are not straight at all. I'm just going to start over. Where did I find those? Well, they couldn't have been the shopping mall ones because shopping mall what now yet? Let's see. Okay. So since we have a corner here, we may as well get a corner in. Line that up properly. Go from there. That one lined up nicely. It's stuff like this that I wish would snap easier. But it's just so fiddly. That's a word, right? It's just a word. And then we can duplicate that in place and bring it across. Maybe this is why I don't detail all that often. This shit takes a while. It really does. And at what? Two and a half hours? Close. Here, I don't think we need a rounded corner because it's back there. I will. It. I might have to finish it out tomorrow, but I will get it sent to you. Everybody say thank you to Destin for helping build this series. I, I am thoroughly enjoying having, like, somebody else's... Uh, like vision and building style in the city because it forces me to rethink things. I forget which neighborhood it was that I had. Oh, yeah, no, I know which one it was. Right across from the mall, I was like, yeah, I think I'll, next time around, I'll put a, a big uh, high density area in that area. And then Dustin sends me the building. He's just built a little low density <laughs> neighborhood. And I'm like, well, okay, that works too. And it does. It, um, this, this here. I was gonna do some higher density stuff over here, and but you know what? What's there works fine. It really, I, I like it. So finally got the Cayman GT4. Oh god, I don't have anything really unlocked. I don't have very many upgrade cars. Like I am, I am woefully behind. Woefully. So let's get our food truck back in here. Put you there. Put this one over here. I figure since this stadium doesn't have like any refreshment of any sort in it, the food trucks are the next, next, ah, next best thing. 
next best thing. Why was that so hard to say? I have a couple cars, but not much. I don't want you to go easy on me. I want you to freaking race, race hard. I don't want gimmies. You know, I accept that sometimes I suck. And I'm okay with it because I still had a lot of fun, even though I, I was DNFing. It's not a lot of fun. So, it, you know, it, it's all good. Plus, it'll be good there because, you know. All right. All right. See you, Dust. You know, it, it's going to be nice just to have, you know, more. the original Vainglorious Brit. You were, you were the... No, actually, you were the, you were the second Brit. I forgot. Ryan was the original, but, you know, he didn't come around all that much anymore, so... We'll have you be the original. What are these? Is, is this new? Like, I don't think I've ever... This little tiny... Half grass. That's so tiny, I don't you wouldn't want to mess with it. Oh my god, those are tiny rocks. What the hell? A pedal board. Yep. That sure is like a guitarist pedal board. That's, um... Not what was I what I was expecting at all to see today, but hey, it's there. So we need a little something here. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to though because that's all part of that. That's very sad. So what do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It needs something. This isn't so much money. I have a song stuck in my head again. Uh, Gus Stapperton Horizons. Or New Horizons or whatever it's called. Very peculiar dude, but man, he makes some good music. Like, I don't want any use. Yeah, I don't want any use. I only want me's. Oh, sorry. That was a terrible pun. So I think if we just do a smattering of trees through here, just enough to say there are trees, but then they kind of look like they're hiding from the, like they're afraid of the path. Whoa, game, don't jump. Don't do it, don't jump. Yeah, that song was just... I, don't, I mean, I haven't heard it today. I don't know why that song was stuck in my head. The song that should be stuck in my head is the last one I heard when I was in the car, and that was Manchester Orchestra. Oh, my God, are they an amazing band? The Way. Oh, such a hauntingly good song. Instead of lining the edges like we've been doing, we're just gonna do a row like it will maybe a row there and a row here. Just to split that area up, have something there. Something's making like it the thunk of a quarter being dropped down a slot. I don't know what. Um, you'll take the original title off of him. Oh, Ryan's good, dude. I'm missing. This still needs something. Just, I don't know. There's something else it needs. 
but I, I this this is where I struggle with detailing. Is I, I look at something and I'm like, yeah, we need something here. I just don't know what. It, oh, you're not a little bush. Is it little bushes? Is it little bushes that we need? Like on here? I mean, sometimes I do okay with it, and other times I just look at it, I'm like, yeah, like, I can tell that I need to do more, but I can't really, like, think of what do I have in my palette to work with. I think because this area is just kind of grown up, we could fill in a lot of it and give it so whoa he always annoyed the hell out of me when he was on tv but he had a very good point uh, a de interior decorator named christopher lowell i don't know he he was just uh, uh i'm not gonna say why he irritated me but he irritated me but he had a good point in that in everything that you do in decorating you, you need it to have layers, so, you know, and not only vertical, but horizontal layers. Things that draw your eye in and up and all of that. So I think having some of these grasses do that. All right, my dude, I will, I will see you tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Time, which is around five or six your time there's a need for speed i'm looking forward to it it's been a long time miss your face even though i have no idea what your face looks like because i've never seen it but still i miss your face you know what i mean 3 a.m be calling jesus all right dude i'll see you bye Oh man, it's almost nine. I think this helps. Grasses are helping. And because there's trees there, they're not filling in every single little possible spot. And then if I come in with just a few wild hedges, like much quicker, I think that'll help these little tree areas just feel that much more complete. Except right there, I don't like how they did that. Because it's kind of outside of the area. But we can kill some of those. There, now that feels like you're walking through a nice park. I mean, there's like, you know, not a destination in this park. It's just a nice place to go, you know, on your lunch break. If you if you work in some of these businesses uh, or if even, you know, some of the, the students, maybe if they're allowed to go that far off campus. So that's technically on campus right there. So maybe that's not even off campus for them. But, you know, just, just a, a nice little stroll through some nature in the middle of town. And I think I think it works really well. The only thing that I have it, that I've detailed before that I didn't get finished, and same thing we didn't get finished last time, is right here. And this is going to take a long time. So this is where we'll pick up tomorrow. We will do this area, and then we'll get something done over here. It won't be extensive, but we'll do something. Um, and then something out by the farm, though I don't know what yet. Um... And then we'll decide what we want to do on the outside of this area. I think we're just going to have just a little smattering of trees like we have now. And leave the inner bits with just green space. Though, are there parks in this area? Did he put parks? It's got, yeah, it's got two parks. And 
it looks like their entertainment is solid. Like, the only place in town that doesn't have entertainment is right there. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch up here. No, actually, for the most part, there's a little corner there. There's a little corner there. Everybody else has good entertainment, so we're looking pretty doggone good. Um, and then we'll do a little tiny bit of detailing over here, maybe. Like, there's not a whole lot I can do yet, because we haven't built this area out yet, so I don't know what's going to need detailed. Like, I go ahead and do what I know we can do, and it's not going to be anything all that terribly exciting. Because I think there's already enough plants and things here. All I want to do is find that sandstone. Which is right here. Sandstone pavers and sandstone pavers. So, uh, let's see. Which one do I want to use? Probably this one. Yeah, I want to use this one. And I just want to, like, fill this area in. Just this gap between these two buildings. Or two assets. I'm trying to get it lined up between the two of them. And then I can take it over to the corner and see how it lines up with that. So yeah, I just want to kind of like fill this in so that it just isn't just dirt. I don't think we need to do plants or anything like that right here. There's there's plenty of greenery already here. The sound effects in this game are just so weird sometimes. Like on in the left, I hear sounds like somebody's taking like a cup they got from a fast food restaurant that has just ice in the bottom or it's like a slushy or something and you know how you like jam the straw in to try to get more stuff it just it's making that sound what it sounds like to me i'm not sure that i'm liking how this looks now that i'm placing it down You know what? There you go. I wonder if I rotate it. Okay, can I... it doesn't rotate on a axis. That was great. I thought it would. Maybe with move it on, they'll rotate. Duplicate place. There we go. So that's with move it on. Now, yeah, now they go. But I don't know if I want to break it up like that or not. I'm just kind of, it's, I don't know, it's just getting very repetitive. I don't like it. Also, it doesn't reach all the way to the edge. I don't like the randomized. I don't like the repetitive. I don't like it. I thought that was going to be our answer, but it's not. So, I need something there. I don't want to just leave concrete, and I don't want to just paint or leave dirt, and I don't want to just paint it in concrete. But that would make it all feel like part of the same plaza, wouldn't it? Run that back like that. Maybe that is what's best. You know, I don't hate it. It makes that feel like a cohesive place. And I was mentioning that we've got uh, these people walking up around there. By doing that, I can now come in here and with anarchy, I may not even need anarchy. We can just throw a path in here and it'll be hidden that it doesn't quite fill that area up. But that will allow people to cut through there and there. So I like that. It's, it's not a bad idea. So we are definitely getting tourists. That that makes me happy. There goes the boat. We're taking four tourists away. It's kind of cool that we have more tourists arriving than leaving. Though we do also have a train station. That is zero passengers a week. Seriously? Our train isn't getting any ridership at all? Nineteen tourists 
Oh, we like is there a single train inbound at all right now? There is somewhere. There's actually two inbound right now. It goes so far this way. There's one of them. But I don't know. That's cargo train. Where's where's one of our passenger trains? I just want to see how many people are coming in. Where are they? Those are those are passenger trains. Why aren't you showing me those? I don't get that. We need to put in a uh, more passenger trains. There, you're. Yeah, yeah, that's where you're going with six people. I want to kind of take this train ride. I've never, I've never gone on this train since I built it. And I just want to see uh, what the view is like from the train. So we're going to follow that around for a little bit. So when you come in, it's just the harbor. And textures popping in and out the vehicles out of the highway. I like that there's a first person camera. Sometimes you just need to stop and enjoy the view from though it's not much of a view, so you're in a little bit of a ditch right now. But just enjoy the view that you get from citizen level. You get a little glimpse of the tourist area that you're heading to way over there, and you're wondering why the hell didn't somebody just build a bridge right here? Why do I have to go 17 more kilometers? That's about how far it is still. See, I think those numbers on the train station were wrong, because here comes a train back from it. Maybe they just take so long to get there that, uh, like, two or three weeks. Oh, dear. Okay, we're fine. We survived somehow. We, we phased through the other train. The ultimate in train safety, the ability to phase through solid objects. So you get a little bit of a view coming into town of the industry and of the area that I've recently built, but I don't think you guys have seen yet. No, that was in the day's video. Yeah, the Brooklyn, Brooklyn was in the day's video. So all those brownstones. Drain gets kind of close to some level. You get a nice view of that bit of town, depending on which side of the train you're on, and then you just kind of go back out into the countryside through a big, massive boulder. And at Great Crossing, I'm surprised by that. I really am surprised by that. You actually get several different views in town. Like this goes along the whole area. I kind of, I kind of dig it. Instead of cutting through, it just goes around. But there's still a ton of places that we're gonna build, provided that you know the game will allow us to. Like I wanna, I wanna do this as kind of you know a tourist destination. Um, moving into some higher rises a little bit here, but not high high rises. Leave the high rise bin on. But we have this whole new area over here that I, I rerouted the highway. It kind of did a jig way down to there and then came back up. I just straightened it out and put an interchange in here. And I think it'd be kind of cool to have like a really dead city just chilling just out here kind of in the middle of nowhere. And then, excuse me, man, the hiccups and then just taper the density off as it moves this way. To blend in with all of that over there. Oh man. And I'm thinking concert area over here with a nature reserve. Maybe some of the hotels that go out over the water. Maybe. Oh my god, why am I hiccuping so bad? I'm glad I'm ending. That's annoying. Yeah, we're looking good. Uh so that basically redoes all of the detailing I did in the last detailing stream. So it's like the last detailing stream never happened oh we didn't do the roundabout yet i don't even remember what was in there we'll figure it out 
Anyways, guys, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. That did nothing. Try that again. There we go. I'll be back. No, I don't want to help you improve your product. Why does that keep popping up? Tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. Central Time. I'm trying to find the interact button that is going to let me click that until it's go away. I'm getting kind of annoyed by it. Not going to lie. None of these. None of these has to be. There we go. Interact. Fuck. Oh, oh, there we go. Tomorrow afternoon. 1 p.m. Central. On YouTube for the community stream featuring some Need for Speed Unbound. And then right after that, we'll be right back here in Broston County with some more detailing. And then hopefully I'll get to do my Sunday stream and we will get all the Pine Pass detailing put back in. And it should be a longer stream on Sunday. So that is hopefully, fingers crossed, what's to come this weekend. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to knock it out, though. Because as of right now... I have zero obligations for anything at all for the next couple days. Just the first time I've been able to say that in quite a while. It feels good. Thank you, everyone who hung out. Thank you again, Nikki, for the sub and the gift subs. Uh, and to Raisins and to Kiltastic, Destin, Santadique for the resubs as well. I love you all. You're awesome. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.